Hello guys, it's Cesar. This is a quick tutorial on a nice transition you can make in After Effects in Sony Vegas. I will make this one in Sony Vegas because I think most of you use Sony Vegas, so yeah. Um, basically in this transition you um, you cut the scope in four parts and then let them come together and yeah, that's quite a nice transition. Uh, with the technique I'm going to show you, you can also um, let the separate parts light uh, light up or flash or, <coughs> or you could color them and you could sync that to the beat but I will make another tutorial for that maybe so yeah I already have two clips imported here and basically you um, yeah this is my first clip and I will just slow-mo the last shot um, by the way I did that by control clicking and dragging the clip then to the right that will <coughs> slow mo it so then go to the second clip and go to the part when uh, you just scoped in so and then you have to go to preview best and then full yeah uh, and then take a snapshot <coughs> just save that here and then drag that back to the timeline. Uh, then make this a bit shorter here. And now we have to create a new video track. Just right click here and insert the new video track. And then drag the screenshot above your first clip. So we have to insert three more video tracks because there are four parts of your <coughs> uh, scope. And yeah, just control uh, d click and drag the clip to copy it so <coughs> now we have to mask the parts of the scope so go to your pen crop tool that's this little icon here and go to mask enable that and now we mask the first part of your of our scope so I'll do this really roughly because I don't have much time and yeah so when that's done, go to your feather type, change it to both, and then the feather to one. So <coughs> um, now we go to our second uh, screenshot, go to pan crop again, mask, and now we mask the second part of our scope. I'll do this run roughly again, because I don't have much time. Yeah. You can always do this better if you spend more time in doing this. So again, go to feather type both and feather one. So now I will pause the video and do, um, yeah, mask the next two parts alone. I will come back when that's done. So now I'm done with the masking, and as you can see here, that's the scope. So. Um, <coughs> now we have to animate this and let the parts yeah just not just appear they we want them to come together so go to your pan crop tool again so that's the down right parts we want that to come from the down right so we go to position and drag this window to the top left because we want the part that part to come from the bottom right so yeah and then go forward a few frames I think that should be okay, and then drag it back. So <clears throat> then go to your second part, and that's the top right part. So we want it to come from the top right. So we have to drag this to the bottom left. So um, I did a little mistake here. That has to be the first frame on the down left. Now go forward the frames a few frames again and bring that back. So on the next part that's the uh, top left part. We want that to come from the top left so we drag this to the bottom right. I did the mistake again. Wait let me just fix this. That has to be the first frame. Now go forward a few frames again and bring this back. So 
so and now that's the f um, last part we go to position top right and I did the fucking mistake again oh my god go forward a few frames and bring it back so <clears throat> now we go to the um, as you can see here you can see nothing <laughs> So um, you see these parts uh, just come together. Um, yeah, and then on the frame when they just came together, you um, split the all of the screenshots and cut this clip, and then um, bring this uh, the, the second clip to that spot and I did a little mistake again I should have um, sc um, split the clip when I s uh, did the screenshot but I think I can find the frame and that's it and now I click S to split the clip so now I delete this part and bring this to this thing so um, then you can just let this one fade out while these are uh, <coughs> coming in. So, and then another little trick you can do is just that's not really a trick, but you can just make these uh, layers smaller by dragging them like that. I could just render the transition part out if you <coughs> don't want that many layers. So, that's basically it, and if you want another tutorial with maybe the flashing, just like the video and comment on it. So, and please check out the, yeah, please check out the last um, tutorial I uploaded because it has only 300 views and I uploaded it yesterday, so that's pretty shit. And that's a pretty, pretty nice effect, and I think it's pretty original, so please check it out. I will link it in the description. So, yeah, that's all, and please like the video. Bye.